at 546 in the morning Crack a dawning, now I'm yawning Wipe the cold out my eyes See who's this page of me and why It's my nigga Pop from the barber shop Told me he was in the gambling spot And heard the intricate plot A niggas wanna stick me like flypaper neighbor Slow down love, please chill, drop the paper Remember them niggas from the hill up in Brownsville That you rolled dice with yeah, my nigga fame up in prospect Nah, them my niggas, nah, love wouldn't disrespect I didn't say them, they school me to some niggas that you knew from back when When you was clocking minor figures Now they heard you blowing up like nitro When they wanna stick the knife through your windpipe slow So, thank fame for warning me, cause now I'm warning you I got the Mac, nigga, tell me what you gonna do Damn, niggas wanna stick me from my paper Damn, niggas wanna stick me from my paper Damn Niggas wanna stick me from my paper. Damn. Niggas wanna stick me from my paper. They heard about the Rolexes and the Lexus with the Texas lights and plates out of state. They heard about the pounds you got down in Georgetown. And they heard you got half of Virginia locked down. They even heard about the clip you bought your mom up Florida, the fifth corridor. Call the coroner. It's gonna be a lot of slow singing and flower bringing if my burglar alarm starts ringing. What you think all the guns is for? All-purpose war got the Rockwellers by the door And I feed them gunpowder so they can devour The criminals trying to drop my decimals, damn Niggas wanna stick me for my cream And it ain't a dream, things ain't always what it seems It's the ones that smoke blunts with ya See your picture, now they wanna grab their guns and come and get ya Bet your biggie won't slip I got the calico with the black talons loaded in the clip So I can rip through the ligaments Put the fuckers in the bad predicament with all Went. Touch my cheta, feel my Beretta Fuck when I'ma hit you with your motherfuckers Better duck I bring pain, blood stains on what remains of his jacket He had a gun, he should've packed it Cocked it, extra clips in my pocket So I could reload and explode on your eyes hole I fuck around and get hardcore C4 to your door, no beef, no more, nigga Feel the rough, scandalous The more weed smoke I puff, the more dangerous I don't give a fuck about you or your weak crew What you gonna do when Big Papa come for you? I'm not running, nigga, I bust my gun in Hold on, I hear somebody coming Come on, come coming fast, you can Just bring your motherfucking ass on, come on You're getting close, huh? It's right over here Are you sure it's Biggie Smalls, Grim, man? I'm sure, motherfucker, come on you better be his motherfucking hell. Fuck man. You better be his motherfucker's hell. Oh shit. What? What's wrong? Stop that red dot on your head, man. What red dot? Oh shit. You got a red dot on your head too. Oh, oh shit. shit. Greetings everyone, hi, it's me, Miss Blue, the Oracle. Now, as you know, we are about to dive into Planet Remix. And as we get ready to get into the cipher, I do want to let you know that it is Planet Remix, and a lot of times we cover adult content. So at this time, if you have anyone who's a minor, I would suggest that you put your headset on or get yourself in a place where you can enjoy your time on Planet Remix. But until then, put the babies out, do what you need to do so we can be responsible while knowing our magic. This show, this information, we dive into a lot of things that are adult content. And so therefore, if you are a minor, I want you to stop what you're doing right now. And I definitely want you to get your parent or your guardian's consent before diving into the remix. Well, enjoy. Enjoy the share. Yeah, and keep knowing your magic. We just got to be responsible while growing up on planet Earth. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, everyone. Peace and greetings, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Planet Remix. I am your host, of course, Miss Blue, the Oracle. And you are, let me say that again, and you are live on Planet Remix. So peace and greetings to everyone out there. Yeah, we live on Planet Remix on a Wednesday night for most of us across the globe. Peace and greetings to everyone out there listening, no matter where in the world you're listening from. Welcome to Planet Remix. Wow. So glad to have you guys join us here on Planet Remix. So good morning, good night, good afternoon, good evening. It just depends on where you are in the world. And I trust that you are safe and sound, no matter where you are. I feel like we need to do a weather check because we got all of these hurricanes sort of kind of brewing out there. And so I trust that you're keeping yourself safe and uh, keeping yourself sane and you're hunkering down no matter where you are. (laughs) So peace and greetings, everyone. How is everyone doing? Yes, we are live. I see you guys out there asking that question. Are we really, really live? Yes, we are live and in living color. We are live. So welcome on into the remix. I want to let you know the blue room is open and you are certainly more than welcome to come on over and join us in the blue room. But I want to say this for you guys, the war, the warning, the wealth, And the win is what we're going to be diving into, deep diving into. Uh Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I want you to also know, we already had this show posted before the NBA walkout. That's right. You heard it. We had this posted way before the NBA walkout. Let me say it again. The war, the warning, the wealth, the win. The hell going on in these cosmic streets. We had to come do a check-in because it's, it's, it's a lot going on out in these cosmic streets. The WNBA as well. Shouts out to all of them, our NBA brothers, our WNBA, hmm. our sisters holding it down. The war, the warning, the wealth, the win. Say it with me. The war, the warning, the wealth, and the win. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, any time that me and Brother Bilal got to come on on a Wednesday night, it must be serious. It has to be. It must be serious. If we got to come on on a Wednesday night. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. (laughs) So... Welcome on in, everyone. So glad to see you guys join us in the cipher. I want to give out the call-in number, 515-605-9794 is the number to call. And you're going to want to be on the phone lines tonight. Just take it from me. Trust me on that. You're going to want to be on the phone lines. You're going to want to be in the blue room because you can't miss that. But you definitely want to be on the phone lines, too. You're going to want to do that. Mm-hmm. I want to give you the cosmic directions to find your way on over. So you can come on over and you can join us in the blue room. Mm-hmm. And all you have to do is come on over to YouTube. And once you get to YouTube, you're going to type in blue. That's right. B-L-U-E. And then Raz. R-A-S. And then Barry. B-E-R-R-Y, and that will get you locked in. And so, shout out to all the family 
in the house. Shout out to all the family in the house. You guys know Biggie opened up the airways in a very, very big way. And who else can do it like Biggie? Mm. Nobody. Nobody can do it like Biggie. And uh, I just want you to know we won't take up much of your time. (laughs) Then again, maybe... Maybe we will take up quite a bit of your time. We'll see. We see. We 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 gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna do a Drake. We gonna see. And we gonna do my mama. We gonna see. We're just gonna see. Mm-hmm. I see all of your smiling, beautiful energy uh, in the blue room. Mm-hmm. I want you guys to know that we are all coming together as a collective consciousness collectively we are coming together while mother nature does her thing she's doing her thing at this time the forces of nature are speaking and it's not nice to play with mother nature it's not nice we can't do it nor should we do it Mm -mm. nope no. Nope. Let's do this. Oh, I love that bell. We got to ring the bell. And I want to give a big shout out to Self Invested. Because it's going down. <laughs> you guys have no idea. It's going down in Self Invested and... Just love to everyone who is self-invested. Mm-hmm. Just love out to everyone who's self-invested. And um, yeah, yeah. Shouts out to all the self-invested family. Where are you at? You in the house self-invested? Stand up. If you self-invested and you know it. If you're self-invested and you know it. <laughs> we know you're in the building and for that matter all of you are self-invested really because you're here you're here on planet remix so shouts out to everybody and definitely all of you who have enrolled and in self-invested this semester we are super excited to work with each and every single one of you and uh just glad to see you in the building mm-hmm mm-hmm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Self-invested, you know, it's a great place where we teach you not only the information, but how to apply the magic. Because what is information and knowledge without the magic to go along with it? <laughs> oh, it's a game changer. For sure. Mm hmm. It's a game changer. Yeah. That's a whole new dimension that has opened up on the planet. And uh, we kicked the door in. So we know. We opened the game changer door many, many moons ago. So, again, shouts out to self invested and to everyone who's self invested. So now, let's get down to some business. There's lots of unrest that is happening in Wisconsin. And we know because of the recent shooting that just took place. And it has sparked ripples. And and this is what I want you guys to know because we are in constant contact with our international family. This has caused ripples, not just in the United States, but all across the world. All across the world. Because so many people have come online with their consciousness. And I can assure you, it is so much more good 
in this world. And I say that, um, I say that from a very, very balanced perspective, then there is not. It's just a lot of unrest that is happening. Yeah. Then Jacob Blake, who was shot seven times, was only trying to stop a fight between two women. And he was shot seven times in front of his children. Like, seriously? It was a fight on his child's birthday. And he was shot seven times in the back. Now, this absolutely positively cannot keep happening. It is a disgrace. I can think back to some years ago when Dr. Joy DeGruy, you guys know who this sister is, right? Badass sister was trying to teach the world about not only post-traumatic stress disorder that those of us of the African diaspora was going through, but she was working with police departments. Her work was way ahead of its time. Because she was on this years ago. She came on this show and she talked about it. She wrote books about it. She did workshops about it because she could foresee what was coming. And what never stopped coming. Now I want to be very clear. You guys know the remix. We're, we're not a political show. But I will tell you this. This looks like politics as usual. That's what all of this stuff going on looks like. So... Left wing, right wing, you know, we're going to leave all that for the Batman's wings. That's what we're going to do. We're going to give the wings to the Batman. That's what we're going to do. We're going to give it to the black man. <laughs> we are all about assisting each other here. And that's all of us. That's everybody who's on planet Earth. Yeah, that's you, and that's you over there. That's you over there. That's you, Kevin. That's you, Karen. Mm -hmm. That's you, Josie. That's you, Sarah. That's you. <laughs> that's all of us on the planet. We make no distinction there. Because we about that life. And hashtag, we got the receipts to prove it, dive through the archives. More than 10 years of knowing your magic, of doing this work, and assisting, not with lip service, with tools, with processes, with things that you can use, with real magic, because magic itself stands for M making a greater G individual I see commitment. 
Can you do magic? Can you do magic? Because magic will always give you a solution. Always. See, we were on magic before the world was scared of magic. We was never scared. So you see all these little memes in the post and people saying, it's not magic. You have to do, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Well, maybe you ought to get some magic. And maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. Maybe if you were making a greater individual commitment, you could create some magic. But if you're still stuck on Hollywood's version of magic, and you think someone's going to come and blow smoke up your ass, then I guess you're lost in the forest. And someone, someone will have to come find you. (laughs) I guess. I don't know, though. Anywho. Back to our regularly scheduled program. (laughs) The war, the warning, the wealth, and the win. Yeah, they lost in the sauce, and it damn sure ain't hot sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce that is. Yeah. Don't know what kind of sauce that is. Welcome on in. We got a packed house tonight. So good to see you guys in the blue room. Shouts out to all the family out there listening. Like really. And shouts out to all the babies being born. As we speak right now, you know some baby is coming into this atmosphere. Right now. As we speak at this moment. There is a whole new wave of souls that's coming to the planet to do their thing in a very, very powerful way. A very powerful way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How are we doing, family? How's everybody doing? Is the children all getting themselves all settled back in school? I mean, I hear it's much mass confusion going on with that, but they're trying to make it work. And and big respecter of that. And thank you to our amazing babies who are flexible and rigid at the same time, making it do what it do. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Can you believe we are at the end of August? Like every time I say that, I have to sit back and I have to think. This is the end of August. Like literally, this is the end of August. And our world, we're in the new world. Like it's been changed, right? Like we on some new new. Here's another thing. Did you guys know this? I don't know if I mention it on any other show, but talk about innovation. I got to give a shout out to somebody I ain't gave a shout out to in a moment. And that's Walmart. Because how about Walmart then started the drive-in theater? Did y'all know that? Walmart then turned its huge ass parking lot that it used to let people park their RVs in. Walmart said, scratch that. Y'all can't do this. We are going to have drive-in theaters. So you can check your local Walmart and you can drive in your car and you can go check out some movies. You can get you some snacks and some popcorn. Boy, whoever Walmart got working for them, they know they magic. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't listen to Planet Remix and been in self-invested because that's some hell of an innovation and they did that shit like 360. Word on the street is they sold out just about everywhere in the country. So they have literally brought back the drive-in movie theater, giving people something to do. Amazing with all of their space that they have. 
So you can drive to Walmart, get you a car full of people. You can buy your little movie ticket. You could say you want some popcorn. You want some, what else we get? The little sweet and sours. You can get you something to drink. You know, you can get all that goodies. Or you can bring your little snacks from the house. And you put it on your little radio station in the car and tune it in. And while you're sitting in the car, I mean, let me tell you guys something. I can remember being a very little girl and one of my favorite movies, it was traumatizing, but it was favorite. It was a favorite movie was called Claudine. I love that movie. It was quite traumatizing when her mama beat her ass with the brush when she snuck out the house. I think that change my behavior as a young girl. <laughs> I was too young to be dating, but I always remember that scene when her mama took that brush out. Whew, talk about give you your life. But we were in my dad. I remember he had a Cadillac, a red and white Cadillac convertible. That was the car we had. And we were in the drive-in watching that movie um, where James L. Jones was the trash man and uh, Diane Carroll was the mother. And she had all the children that was in the house. And I remember distinctively having the little, they used to have this little silver box. You hang it on the side of your car. Yeah, I'm telling my age, girl, but it's all good. Because when you see me, I look like I'm na -na 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 19. So I'm good. <laughs> but anywho, and um, we watched that movie in the car. That was through the drive-in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make me think about that. You know, that movie, even then, you know, not not really knowing what I know. But damn, the black man is always taking the trash out. And James L. Jones was the trash man in that movie. He was. And it was set in New York City. And I remember that, um, you know, I, 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 it, it just brings a certain nostalgic energy to the air. It really does. Because let me tell you what's happening right now, you guys. We are kind of like in a remix version of Back to the Future. We have different dimensions that are um, uh, 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 exploding or colliding with each other. We have different dimensions that are intersecting with each other. We'll talk about some of those stories as well about real proof. And some of you have even emailed us about how the worlds are, con are, are colliding with each other. And that would be the astro world. Remember we told you, Brother Bilal, um, came on earlier when we were talking. This was way before we opened up for self-invested. And Brother Blau spoke about this and we said we would also in Self-Invested do a lot of work into the astro realm. For those of you who know your remix history, you know a couple of years, about a year and a half ago, I told you the realms in the astro world changed. And so you could no longer, the same way you got to a certain dimension you couldn't get back. Like those dimensions have changed. They have shifted themselves. Well, lots of proof about this. Let me see if we have time for a really quick story to tell you about a colliding. Nee, 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 nee. I don't know if it's the Twilight Zone. I'm not going to say that remix zone, um, but it's a zone, right? So here's the story. And I'm going to pull it up because I want to get it. I want to get it right. I don't want to be over here. I don't want to be over here uh, channeling. Not just yet. I'll tell y'all when I get in my channel mode. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. I'm going to tell you when I'm going to that, get in that channel mood. And uh, let you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um... Here we go. Mm, mm. Y'all ready for this? So, all right. 
So I'm going to tell you my, my instance of one. Okay. I'll, I'll share mine personally, what happened, what I witnessed. And that was it. So one weekend, my daughter, Baby Blue, came home from college and she needed to get her car inspected. And honestly, we forgot about it. Like it was a long weekend and we kept putting it off, saying we were going to do it and we just didn't do it. So finally, um, we said, okay, we're going to... um, do it. So at the last moment before she was leaving, I said, no, you need to go ahead and get your car inspected. So she agreed and we went. So when we went to go get the car inspected, we went inside um, and there were three workers in there and they were all standing there and they was like, how can we help you? So we told them what we needed. They said, oh, Well, right now our computer system is down and nobody knows how to, to get it back up and running. So I said, what do you mean? And she said, no one knows how to get it back up and running. So she said, um, so the manager came in and he said, um, it was a Latino brother. He said, yeah, he said, right now corporate is down and um, and so we can't get it back up running and we've called everybody and no one's answering. And so we can't get it to work because no one knows the code. I said, well, you know, I did a lot of work in retail and um, I trained on a lot of projects. I said, you should have... Um, a manual and inside the back of that manual there should be a reset code in the back of the manual that you can reset your system in the event of an emergency or if the system goes down so they went to look for the book as they went to go look for the book real this is a real story now baby blue can come on and confirm it and um so they found the book and they found the code So the guy said, oh, wow, ma'am, thank you so much. So he starts punching the code in, and then he waits, punching the code in, and he waits. It doesn't work. Punch the code in, and it says, "Um, code no longer valid. I said, well, that means that your master code, someone changed. And he said, yeah. So the Spanish guy looked a little worried. Like I could tell he was really, really worried. He was the manager. And I said, you okay? He said, yeah. He said, it's just that I just got this job a couple of months ago. And I think that if I don't get these systems up and running, I'm going to get fired. And I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, I don't know what happened. And so it was a sister, young sister girl working in there. And she told me, she said, I accidentally, um, because I was trying to get something underneath this, um, the register and where the computer was, I accidentally unplugged it. And that's how it happened. And we're told never to hit this button. I said, let me guess. You hit the button and she started laughing. She said, I did. So they all said, yeah, we probably all get fired. But, you know, hey, I said, I don't know. Maybe I can give you the code. So the guy says, the manager, he said, you think you can give the code? I said, yeah. I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a number down and I'm going to give it to you. And put the number in and see if it works. So... All of a sudden, the other guy was a white guy working there. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to see this. You're just going to give us the number. You're going to write it down and and we're going to put it in. I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to see if I can give you the code. So the sister girl said, but how would you know the code? I said, "Mm, just trust me on this. She said, okay. I channeled the code. Because again, I knew my daughter needed this code. I wrote it down, gave it to them. They put it in. We're all sitting there in amazement. And there's other people in there waiting to get stuff done to their car. And the system goes, it comes up. So they're all looking at me like they saw a ghost. (laughs) They said, 
how did you do that? I said, well, um, there's a genetic code. This is a lie, but just to calm the energy down, I had to tell a lie. I said, it's a genetic code and pretty much everybody used the same thing. Oh, okay. And then they said the classic thing. That makes sense. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I said, yeah, it's a genetic code. And I know somebody who used to work at one of these little states, you know, work at these places like this. It's just a genetic cash register code. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was getting ready to say, because how would you know what corporate put in as our code, master code? How would you know that? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so the manager went ahead and said, because you did that, we're going to go ahead and take your daughter's car first, and we're going to do the inspection, and we're going to get everything. Now, remember, everything is heightened now. All the energy is up. Everybody's excited. Uh, the, the, the manager, uh, the Latino brother who thought he was going to lose his job, knows he's not going to lose his job, so he's, he's good to go, like he's hyped. I'm looking through the little glass window where you can see all of the bays where they're working at. And all of a sudden he runs back to the window and he says, I need to get the keys because he forgot the keys to the vehicle. So my daughter hands the young lady, the sister girl, the keys and gives the keys to him. He takes the keys, he runs, like he's all happy now, everybody's back at work, and, um, you know, he does the inspection, and as he's coming back, all the other cars have moved out the bay, and she was like in the last one, he's like jumping over the little spots, the little you know, the base spots. If you guys know anything about auto mechanic, you know what I'm talking about. You know, the little underground bay little lift place where the cars have to drive on top where they do the oil change. And all of a sudden I'm looking out the window and he's running towards me and he disappears. And it dawns on me. I'm like, Oh my God, he fell in the, in the, in the, in the bay hole where they do the oil change. So it's like everything slowed down. Real story, you guys. Everything slowed all the way down. And the only thing I thought was I cannot be here to be a witness to his death. I said, no, 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 no. Like in my mind, I'm replaying it like, no, whatever we got to do, he cannot die. He cannot get hurt. He, I, and I can't be here to witness this. Don't ask me why, but this is where my mind went. And I'm thinking, no, this cannot be happening at this moment. Next thing you know, he comes flying back up in the air, slams up against the window, swings the door open, and he is breathing hard. Now, keep in mind The two other workers are on the computer and the cash register, so they have their back turned. But he's looking at me, and he said, oh my God, did you see that? Did you see what happened? So everybody starts turning around. They go, what, what, what? I said, oh my goodness. I said, thank goodness you're okay. He said, oh my God, you've seen it, right? He said, my whole life just flashed in front of me. And so the guy said, what happened? He said, I tripped and fell inside one of the bays. He said, man, it was the freakiest thing. He said, my whole life passed in front of me. And next thing I know, I went flying back up in the air, out the hole. (laughs) Okay. Needless to say, at this point, Everyone's looking at me because, you know, from guessing the numbers (laughs) to him falling in the bay to the whole little thing. So we hurry up and pay. They're like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So as I'm going to my car, the sister girl, young sister girl runs to my car. My daughter's in her car and I'm in my car. She taps on the window. So I thought I forgot something. I said, yeah, 
She said, can I ask you a question? I said, yeah. What do you do? And I said, what do you mean? I mean, that stuff that happened in there, she's like, I don't know too much, but I know that that's, that, 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 that was something else. That was something different. I said, here's my phone number. I got to go. Call me. Long story short, we are besties. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm sure she might even be listening at this particular time and uh, has discovered a whole lot. But that's an instance of the worlds colliding. So I wanted to tell you a personal story before I got into this particular story right here of how the worlds are colliding. And some of you may have your own stories and we'd love to hear them as well um, to email to us and, and just be aware. So this first one is about a wife who was seen in two different spots. Now get this. It was late one evening and uh, um, a husband and wife, you know, they have went out, you know, him and his bae, they went out and they had a nice dinner and uh, they were laughing and talking about uh, the amazing uh, evening they had together, going out to dinner. You know, it was dinner night. It was something they did often. When the husband goes to open the door to the house, and when he opened the door, he saw his wife sitting at the computer doing some work. So he paused for a second because he's thinking, wait a minute. This is normally what my wife does when she gets off work, except for the fact that she's standing here with me as I'm entering the house. Hmm. 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 Now, it gets a little even more, a little more remixed. After he realized, wait a minute, I see my wife sitting at the computer doing her work, which is normally what she does when she comes home from work, but she's walking with me in the house. He didn't say anything. He was just in shock. They got in the house, they got ready for bed, and they got in the bed. And then finally, the husband couldn't take it anymore. And he said, you know, the weirdest thing happened when we got home. And they were laying in the bed together. He said, when I first opened the door to go in the house, I could have swore I seen you sitting at the computer working. And his wife looked at him and she said, yeah, I seen myself sitting at the computer working too. <laughs> so listen, the dimensions are colliding with each other. And that's not a doppelganger when you see yourself somewhere else. That's that's something different. That's not a, do a doppelganger is when you see someone who looks like you and they're doing something else, but they're not you. This, in fact, is you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Another instance is, I want you to think about this. There was this guy, this brother, who had been dating his girlfriend for about two years. And his girlfriend's name was Susan. Mm -hmm. And so one night, he had a dream. And I'm sure many of you have had this dream. Come on, brothers. Where he cheated on Susan with his ex-girlfriend. And so in the dream... While he was actually engaging in some serious sex 
with his ex-girlfriend, he happened to look over and standing outside the window looking in at them was his current girlfriend, Susan, and she was crying, watching them through the window. All right. So fast forward, he forgot about the dream. He didn't say anything because, I mean, what are you going to say, right? So he wanted to forget about the dream, but then a few days later, him and his girlfriend, Susan, was hanging out. And she said, you know, I had the weirdest ass dream the other night. So he said, you know what? You did? He said, what was your dream? Because he's trying to see what kind of dream is Susan having? Because he know he had a dream. She said, you know, she described the very same dream that he had. She said, I got a phone call that you were with your ex. I ended up going to this building I was standing outside the bedroom window and I could see you two in there having sex. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So the dimensions are colliding with each other. They're intertwining intertwining with each other. So when we talk about quantum physics and we talk about being in multiple places at one time, like every thought you're having, like the thought you said, ah, I'm going to go to the grocery store. And then you said, hmm, maybe not. There's a part of you, there is one of you, as the theory goes, that went to the grocery store. So imagine you decided not to go to the grocery store, but then you're sitting there and you're thinking one night and you have this dream that you see yourself in the grocery store and you hit, bought a lottery ticket and you won $20 million. (laughs) Oh, the entanglements that is going down. Oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And then all of a sudden, one of your best friends say, girl, I I could have swore I picked up the newspaper and seen you stand in there that you had won $20 million. I bet you, you be over here on the remix trying your best trying to figure out how to get into that dimension. (laughs) You'd be like, oh, hell no. How can I leave this dimension and get in that dimension? (laughs) Now, don't everybody go run to the grocery store right now. Go try to buy no lottery ticket either. Mm. Yeah. So, anywho, just kind of wanted to put you guys up on, um, you know, what was going down in the DM. Mm Mm-hmm. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to listen to some Baby Blue. I know Brother Bilal is patiently waiting in the Kundalini lab. And he's about to get ready to come on. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. we're going we're gonna to keep it, keep it moving here on Planet Remix. I got to see what kind of what kind of vibe I'm in. Boy, y'all have been really feeling my vibes. And I got to tell you, I have too. I, you know, someone told me, Miss Blue, we'd pay you for your music selection. Um, yeah, that's cool. You don't have to pay me, but I will, uh, I'm going to try to get some stuff together for you. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. So um, let's listen to some Baby Blue. La, 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 la. Hey, this is Baby Blue. And remember, if nothing else moves you, life will. This is so true. Say it with me. If nothing else moves you, life will. Say it with me. If nothing else moves you, life will. One more time. If nothing, if nothing else moves you. 
life will. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh huh. Thank you to Phoenix Nebula for that super chat donation, which by the way, I don't even want to tell y'all. I won't say it. I don't need to say it. We'll figure it out. So we're about to get into some vibes and, um, yeah, we're about to get into some vibes. I don't, you know, it's, it's, it's Wednesday and, you know, how do you jam on a Wednesday? Like what's a Wednesday kind of vibe, you know, what's a Wednesday vibe? I don't even know what a Wednesday vibe looks like. Uh-huh. I know what I listen to on a Wednesday. Y'all probably don't want to hear none of that. So, um, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We gonna find a Wednesday jam. I know. I know, because I'm just, um, I'm thinking. Um, let's, um... Let's, um, no, I don't want to feel that. Hmm. <laughs> I know, right? It's amazing. It is amazing. I know. Like a little Erica Badu, you know, mixed with a little bit of Master P. Maybe throw in there little Alicia Keys. Like, I don't know. Like, it's it, it's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. Okay. Little Bob Marley. <laughs> little bit of the roots. Oh, y'all are just hitting on some really good stuff. Uh, a little OJ's. Little OJ's, a little slide. Oh, I love me and my slide. Little outcast. Can't worry about what a nigga think. Yeah, can't worry about it. Um, oh my goodness, flowetry. Say it again. Yeah, that was the good old days, right? Yeah, but not no flowetry. Let's, um, we, we, we got to get into a little, um, we gotta get a little. <laughs> Somebody said the Wu Tang protect your neck. I know that's right. Ain't nothing like the Wu. Um, some Sun Ra. I know that's right. Hmm. Don't worry. I, 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 I'm taking my time here, but we're gonna find something. Yeah, we're gonna find something. I think I, I think I got that vibe. Yeah, mm hmm. Yeah, I got it for you. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna get into, we gonna get into this. Yeah, I think I got the perfect, the perfect vibe, the perfect flow. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Let's remix on this. <laughs> Dream of the land my soul is from. Planet Remix, everyone. Yeah, we live. I hear a head stroke on the drum. Shades of delight, cold, cold. Shades of delight, 
Check it now. I can feel the grief thinking with your brain blown. That would make the pain go no. You gotta find a way to survive. Cause they win when you're so dark. Baby, please don't cry. Right. We just play the same song. You gotta keep your head up. Your head. I have so much to do. I have to the bonus, oh, never get it. 
King of Sorrow, nothing like some Chardet, Pac, Bob Marley, <laughs> and the whole crew all together. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Peace and greetings, Brother Bilal. <laughs> Oh, live in the house. What's good? What's good? Oh, yeah. That was a nice opening. It is. Everybody packed house tonight. Yes. What's up, everybody, on a Wednesday night? Oh, man. That was good. That was real good. I enjoyed that. Mm. From the Afro Blue. Yeah, Biggie opened up the way. What's up, everybody? What's happening? <laughs> everybody is giving their shots yeah. out. Pack house tonight for sure for sure on this great wednesday evening uh miss blue tonight we have the war mm. the warning yes the wealth yes and the win oh yeah uh and i know if you could do that for firestone tires we could do it for the lottery number because i was sitting back listening to that story <laughs> like what the hell? I'm like, all this time you could have gave me them fucking numbers. <laughs> you played the PSA, huh? Yeah. And that I, was crazy I, how you played. What it was, you played the PSA right after Biggie killed two people. Well, I mean, I'm like, what kind of shit? No, 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 no. After Biggie. Well, 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 well right. we, we, we have to put that in its correct uh, context. He didn't. Uh, okay. He didn't kill. He was defending himself. Remember, uh, they were coming for right. Biggie. Biggie wasn't checking that's for them. Right. They was checking for Biggie. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that absolutely. that's why I'm, the PSA. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. So that's right. why the PSA you're went after. Right. You know, he had Biggie had to clear it away. Yeah, absolutely right. He had to clear it away. Mm, that was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That's a good cleanup. That's a good cleanup. <laughs> Hey, What's good, everybody? What's self invested. <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? Yeah, you learn fast. <laughs> you learn real fast. <laughs> yeah, you learn on the spot. Yeah, I want to do this uh, really right. quick, Brother Bilal. I want to give a shout out because we have so many people 
who gave super chat donations <laughs> um, to us. So oh, Phoenix Nebula, who's self invested, got to ring that bell, gave a donation. All right, ring and the bell. That's right. And then Free Your Mind TV. How was that orientation? Mm, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Was it good? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I know, I know. That's right. So much fun. Yeah, and then Mm -hmm. Free Your Mind TV, always a big supporter on social media as well Mm -hmm. as in the Blue Room, gave a donation. And then, I know I'm going to tear your name up, but I'm going to say it right. Shaquama O'Neal gave a donation. So, Mm -hmm. shots out to that sister. Uh, Charge it to my head, not my heart, if I didn't say it right. And then, just being real. It sounded right. Yeah, it did. It did. But I'm sure that's not it. It's a beautiful vibration. And then just being real, Armstrong uh, gave a donation as well. Mm-hmm. So shout out to you guys for My those love. super chant donations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Much love all the time. How are you feeling this evening, Miss Blue? You sound good. You sound good. <sighs> yeah, I'm good. You know, we are riding cosmic waves, literally, you know, as... Mm-hmm. Um, as Laura do her thing. Shouts out to all the fam and uh and and, and Jafar have have a, a grandbaby. His daughter yeah, has a girl. The little yes, baby name girl. Name still unknown. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm too excited for them. Beautiful yeah, little girl. Beautiful the generation girl. going, you know. Yes. Yeah. Even sure. though when she get married, the last name will change, but that's nonetheless, <laughs> you know. But uh. <laughs> I don't know now. Celebrate. I don't know. You know, we're all about freedom and empowerment. And some women are choosing not to get rid of their last names or to do it like they do in some countries, hyphen it. You know, keep that keep that yeah. energy going, keep yeah. that vibe flowing, hyphen it. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Mm-hmm. I, feel that. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Yeah. And so uh, with that said, we welcome that supreme energy to the to the plant. Supreme That's feminine. right. That's, That's it. Right. That's that That's supreme. The new on the That's right. Wow. Still, I still. love it. Yes. New brothers. Shouts That's out to right. all Good the stuff. baby girls and baby boys out oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> That's right. Queens, take your rightful place. That's right. So we damn sure need you on the front line right now. You know what? So we done lost <laughs> enough brothers. <laughs> you know what, Brother Bilal? Back to James Earl Jones. <laughs> 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 oh, we don't take days off. Well, we will not be oh. taking this shit serious. Oh, my goodness. Right. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. You know, you know what this really feel like? This feel like a New Year's show for some reason. Yeah. Like the year is starting up. Wow. You know how we always come on yeah. to the end of the year show? It, it, that's what it feel like. That's the yeah. energy it has. Wow. Wow. And really the energy it has. Yeah, it does. Mm. It really mm. does kind of have that that sort of new beginning kind of vibe. Like we're we're kind of moving into a whole nother vibration, which we are, you know, the month of September, mm-hmm. but still we, we are. are coming into, you know, coming into the new year, like a new, hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. This, the, look, these last few months will not disappoint you. Yeah, and look, you better be glad this is only entertainment because this shit could get real personal. Like it will in a minute. Wow. Yeah. So, and we really felt it it was our duty to come on and share with our collective consciousness with our family. And and big shots and hugs out to everybody. But look, the war, Biggie gave you the warning. Mm. You know we like the wealth and the wind, so that's for later. <laughs> you know, that's all we want to do is the wealth and the wind. <laughs> but <laughs> we need to talk about we need to talk about some other things right now, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because look, Miss Blue, you know everybody just just loves to win, win, win. That's it. You know that. No matter what, you know who taught us that? Uh, that was DJ. Wasn't that DJ Call it? Mm. All I do is oh, win, yeah, sure win, did. win, no matter yeah. what. Yeah, that was well, DJ. But for some reason, Miss Blue, people mm-hmm. keep running out of steam, which is hot wind. <laughs> I mean, they, they get on a on a strong breakout running. Mm. They just just. Poop. Poop out. Oh, that was T Pain. Yeah. My bad. 
I thought DJ Khaled did yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but Miss Blue, now check yes. this out. Speaking of, speaking of wind, mm -hmm. let's talk about this wind and water, which is Hurricane Laura. Yeah, yeah. In mm. Louisiana, and look, I, I got so many emails, and everybody yeah, sending out love, here. making sure I'm safe. I am absolutely safe, and I'll be sending you guys the, uh, the same early, uh, later this week because it's going straight to the East Coast. It sure so don't is. worry about me. Yeah, and the same for me too. in Texas. So many of you guys right. sent the emails too. I Thank you. I appreciate the love. Though, yeah, definitely, we appreciate no, it. Yeah. Mm hmm. And and I mean, if you look at the news, I mean, you know, New Orleans is underwater, but we barely got a drizzle. <laughs> yeah, I think it's raining right now. So the only one with word was my mom. You know, so <laughs> you know, shout out to her. <laughs> shout out to mama. You know, crooking her neck. <laughs> I'm stressing. <laughs> Told her it's gonna be all right. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know I, I. You know what? But but look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I do for real. I have mastered that energy not to worry about anything or not put no emotions in it. And if it was to get close, I will use my all my emotions then. Just right. Jump in the car and roll out. That's right. None of this shit is hard. Mm -mm. You make it a little too more complicated. Mm hmm Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. But with that said, speak and not not think about it. Hurricane Laura, right? Mm. -hmm. Look, but Miss Blue, now check this out. You you always looking for signs and symbols, and you know we don't sound crazy over here because all of us crazy in the in the in the <laughs> remix family, right? So we we share that in common. So, but look, Laura, which gets its name in its origin from the laurel tree. Ah, yeah. Miss mm -hmm. Blue, this magical tree. Because look, Miss Blue, without this magical tree. Gumbo wouldn't be the same. Mm, that's right. It's one of the key ingredients to gumbo, Miss Blue. Yes. And could you please, because this is so important for right now, especially with the virus and all these mm. things going around, could you please inform everybody what this laurel is about, Laura, Hurricane Laura, but what the laurel tree produces? Mm, the laurel tree, you guys, produces the bay leaf. Yes, the bay leaf. Let me tell you, the bay leaf, Brother mm -hmm. Bilal, is so freaking mm -hmm. magical. I think mm -hmm. that this is one of those things that um, mm -hmm. um, this is one of those things that um, that I think we missed. Along the way. Now, mm. I know we talk about certain things in Self-Invested, but I want to dive into it because like mm -hmm. you said, right now, this is so critical for so many things that we have going on. A lot of rituals. That's right. A lot of rituals too, Ms. Blue. Uh, protection rituals. That's right. Daily. But remember last time I was on, we talked about time. That's Last right. Last time, I was, we were talking about time. <laughs> now we're that was for the air. That's right. But this right. bay leaf is for the body itself. It's for the body. And I'm going to tell you, Brother Bilal, it's for the whole body. Because even in the Bible, the bay leaf itself symbolized the resurrection of Christ. It represents prosperity, wow. honor, and fame. We're talking about the bay leaf. Okay. Here are some ways that you can really take advantage of the bay leaf at this time because it is connected with the wind. So the wind, anytime we talk about the whole body, because the bay leaf really embodies the body, it is about the respiratory system. It is anti um inflammatory so it really helps to calm things down in your nervous system it also helps it's antibacteria um so when you can take the bay leaf brother blau you can take about seven or eight bay mm -hmm. leaves steep it in some water let it sit for maybe mm -hmm. 15 20 minutes sip on that maybe a couple of times a week and it will remove any mm. inflammation, any phlegm, anything that's going on with your lungs and your respiratory 
system. The bay mm. leaf is amazing. Isn't that the order of the day? Everything is about attacking the respiratory. Today. That's that right. That's because perfect. what it does is it helps to open up the lungs. And here's the thing. Mm. Breathing. We we we, we want to talk about detoxing and I'm always up for a good detox and we need to cleanse and we need to do that. 70% of your cleansing is through your breath. I want to say that again. Mm. 70% of you cleansing your body comes through you breathing. Would the other 30% be passing gas? Because <laughs> they're both of them air. Brother Bilal. Sure, you're playing them. It hit me as we were talking, but go ahead. I cannot, you guys. But listen, so it is about your breathing. And your, I know, right? Your breathing mm-hmm. and your breath. Oh, air. It is mm-hmm. with the air. So I'm going to tell you some magical things that you can do if you're having digestive issues. Um, it is excellent for your small intestine, large intestine. Um, this is excellent. You can take some hot water, take the bay leaf, steep it for about 16 minutes, put a piece of ginger in there, and it's going to do you something really, really nice. Anything, if you have any of the IBS symptoms going on um, with your um, with your digestive system, um, it helps to lower the blood sugar glucose in the body. Um, Anyone who may be combating what they call diabetes, it will help with that. Mm. If the body is becoming insulin intolerant, it really, really helps with that. The other thing, Brother Bilal, that is Mm. so excellent because we've been Mm -hmm. talking about all of this orange energy and the sacral chakra, it really helps with the kidneys. So anything dealing with Mm. the kidneys, the bladder... All of that, the bay leaves help, especially if you suffer from kidney stones. If you got kidney stones, really, really help with that. It will clear out any kind of bacteria that's in your intestine. Check this out. Bay leaves can help you, sisters, to align your menses and your cycle. So drinking bay leaves will put your body back in harmony with your menses and your cycle. Mm. If you suffer from nosebleeds, it's excellent for that. You can ground it up and you can use it. It is the best teeth whitener on the planet, hands down. If you haven't tried it, tried it, it is excellent for that. Another reason, Brother Bilal, that you can go to any culture, you Mm -hmm. can go to hoodoo, voodoo, you can go to Christianity, Mm -hmm. you can go to the East, you can go to the Middle East, into Asia, you're going to see the bay leaf begin to show up. And here's why. Because the bay leaf taps directly into the astral realm. It is connected Mm. with visions. It really helps you with your vision, not just your physical vision, but your spiritual vision, the clairvoyancy. Mm. So if you want to get into sort of seeing things as they are, seeing into the unseen world, really tapping and harnessing that energy of clairvoyance, of being able to see these visions, you need to get a bay leaf. Get into drinking the tea and putting that in your body. The other thing is, uh, this is something that I've given out for years to sisters who are attempting Mm -hmm. to impregnate themselves both physically and also spiritually Mm. with thoughts and ideas. (laughs) Self-impregnated? They leave a mother. No, 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 no. You get your own self (laughs) pregnant? What did you say? I would you say you get yourself pregnant. That bay leaf is a mother. You know what, Brother Bilal? How many children so, bay leaf have? No, 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 no. 
It will Talking about the milkman. The bay leaf is going to put you on fertile ground. On fertile ground. So whether you are taking the bay leaf, brother Might Bilal, play that PSA again. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna you put you in. <laughs> got explicit. <laughs> I was on board at first, but go ahead, keep going. Yeah, keep going. the bay leaf is yeah. going to make you fertile. It's going to make you open. It's going to make you very receptive, right? So you can get in receiving mm -hmm. mode. So especially, it can help now, you. Now, if that shit worked with somebody tubes tied, now I'm a fucking firm believer. <laughs> Like for real, if you're too tired, you get pregnant with the bay leaf. <laughs> Look, I'm that's I'm putting all my money on fuck gold. You know what? Look, don't look like person too, huh? <laughs> Play the PSA again. <laughs> no, but go ahead. Listen, listen. I'm with you though. Let me okay. Stop cutting you off. So, no, 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 no. It's good because it really helps. It helps to bring vitamins into our body that sometimes we have a hard time digesting. And through the tea, you can mm -hmm. get these vitamins in, vitamins A, vitamins B. It really, really helps to fortify mm -hmm. those and get those vit vitamins into the body. The other thing is this is um, one of the things that were mm -hmm. used by oracles in ancient times. And mm -hmm. so oracles, you would wow. often see them sitting in the circle and you would see sort of this smoke come up from beneath the Snug center. Bay leaf. So, yeah. The, it, well, this was one of the magical um, mixtures. It was this bay leaf. And just to burn it and inhale it, it what it will do. If you're having a headache, it will instantly ease the headache away. But let me tell you what the bay leaf is doing by easing the headache away. It is tapping into your mm. pineal gland and your pituitary gland. And so mm, often nice. when we're having headaches, it's because we're not listening to our intuition and there's some sort of blockage that's happening in our body. Mm -hmm. And so energetically, the bay leaf, by inhaling it, it will come in. Why do you think in the Bible, this was the choice of King Solomon? Like mm. he loved the bay mm. leaf. Like that bay leaf to King Solomon was something that he could harness that energy. Here's another one. We talked about time. Mm. But Brother Bilal, if you take you mm -hmm. some time yeah. and you take you some bay leaf and you begin to put yep. those two together and you were to walk right. throughout your sacred house, this will vanish any low wow. vibration. Ms. Blue, one better. One better. Mm. My uncle used to crush it up and smoke weed, smoke it like a weed, right? And so wow. everybody just thought he was making gumbo. It'd be like the perfect distraction, <laughs> but he was smoking it. No, real talk. I mean, you just explained it after all these years, I realized what he was doing. <laughs> but keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh keep my going. God. Oh my gosh. Listen. I mean, it's the herb, huh? Yeah. Isn't it the herb? It, it is. And an, it's legal. It is legal. So you can, you can technically smoke you some Bailey. You can. So your uncle was on it. He was on it. I mean, after all, he taught me how to swim he with dolphins. Real bad. Um, Sitting so. around smelling like a bowl of gumbo. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, listen. S taking in and inhaling that bay leaf and having it in your sacred space will clear the energy. Mm -hmm. It will clear the energy. In fact, you can even put a pot of water on the stove, stick you some bay leaves in there, drop you in some cinnamons and put a little thyme and just put it on a low simmer and just allow that to just sort of move through the air. Because again, it's antibacteria with all of this, with the viruses going on, you can tap into the physical and the spiritual world at the same time. The other thing that bay leaves are so good 
four. Well, goddamn, Bailey's still I'm, doing shit. Yeah, listen, I I got this some goes, more. Look, for this you. got to go under the wealth and the wind. This is not the war, the war and the warning. This <laughs> is wealth and wind. Oh yeah, I I'm this gonna get to that. I know Bailey do all oh this. yeah, I I look, I got notebooks of things that Bailey's has helped yeah, me good. with. So here's the other I'm thing that Bailey's will do. Mm. Bailey's tap into the earth's frequency actually you know that bay leaf tree it takes a very unique condition for the laurel tree to grow and this is why you can find it mm. in most ancient texts its roots go deep deep down into sort of the core of the earth and it likes to sort of harvest itself in sometimes a rocky terrain and so the bay leaf mm -hmm. really help you if you're having any kind of arthritis any kind of joint pains you know you can do you you know just kind of do bay leaf steaming in a bowl and take a towel put it over your head and just sort of take it in or drink it in a tea and do that for like seven to ten days and then sort of kind of pause for a mm. minute see how your body is doing but it will get into the bones you know brother Bilal, we talk about essential oils mm. It breaks through mm. essential oils, go through what they call the blood brain barrier, and it gets directly mm. into the bloodstream. Well, if you get you some mm. bay leaf oil, this bay leaf oil oh, will no, get not, you oh, down. That's where it's in garlic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not wearing no baby ball. Listen, not, see, you don't listen. Too far. See, you know, we were doing good. See, we were, go ahead, Luke. You we get you good. some go bay ahead. leaf oil and you take it and you rub it on the bottom of your mm. feet and mix it with some ginger oil wow. anywhere on your body that mm. you have arthritis or you just want to open yourself up because you want to do some badass channeling. This is the way to go, people. Get that bay leaf. Damn, that's serious. That's Listen. serious. That's serious. Now. I'm serious. That's this serious. Bay leaf is no joke. And for those of you who are iron deficient, and I know some of you are, because immediately as soon as I came into this portal, I could taste it. Like I can taste mm -hmm. the minerals. Mm -hmm. And someone here, I mm -hmm. don't know who this message is for, but you are suffering from iron deficiency. And, you know, there's mm. many different symptoms. You could be very, very cold, extreme temperature changes with that. I'm going to tell you why the body sometimes suffer or has a lack of iron uh, in the body. It has a lot to do with the planet, uh, uh, not the planet, the, the, the solar system you came from prior to being here, where iron was one of those main ingredients um, that was not used inside of your energetic makeup of what we know a body to be. So now that you've incarnated mm. here, some doctors don't know the reason why some people bodies don't absorb iron. I believe it has a mm. lot to just do with our DNA. And so sometimes what has to happen in this life, we have to do many different things, not just on a spiritual level, but on a physical level to wake this DNA up inside of us. And so you can take this bay leaf and you can take it in capsules because it's going to give you 500 mm -hmm the amount of iron that the body needs per capsule. So find you a good mm -hmm. brand and start taking that bay leaf. And I guarantee you, you're going to be astro traveling. Your clairvoyance is going to come online. Your oh, intuition good. is going to be right on point, And you're going to be able to go to sleep like a baby. So if you find yourself restless uh, at night, you can't sleep, sometimes a little bit of anxiety that just hits you. It, it, it might be that iron in you that needs, because certain DNA needs certain um, cell blocks. They need certain minerals to wake them up. Not just consciousness mm. wakes up the DNA, but we have physical things inside of us that we need to put inside of our bodies, minerals to wake up our DNA too. So let's not forget that. So now mm. we're going to get to this. 
for all of my channelers mm. out there or those of you who just want to create some goddamn magic. I mean, I'm always up for some magic, right? Mm. Or you want to manifest something. You take you a bay leaf and you write your intention mm. on the bay leaf and then you hold it in your mm. left hand. This is a oracle and I'm going all the way back to Delphi. These are some mm. of the rituals, the oracles in Delphi would give out to people when they needed to manifest certain dreams and desires, and they needed that manifestation to happen quick, like, like they needed all of the forces to come together and happen quick. You take that bay leaf, mm. you write your intention on it, you hold that intention in your hand. And you hold it between your thumb finger, your thumb, well, that's not a finger, and your pointer finger. Mm -hmm. And the reason you're holding it between those two fingers is because your fingerprints on your thumb and on your pointer finger are the two that will connect you to what we call the higher self. It will connect you to the universe, to God, the oneness. It will put you straight out into the astral realm. Let me tell you why this is important, mm -hmm. Brother Bilal. When you're doing something mm -hmm. and you know that the turnaround time can be quick. See, we've mm -hmm. often been told what you put out is what you give back. And that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Like attracts like. But we have two points of attraction, not one. And this is something we don't talk a lot about. Self-invested, we'll break the lesson down. But we're going to give you guys the skinny mm -hmm. on it. Most of the time, the reason you're not able to manifest is because you are putting out things, but the strongest part of you that is causing the attraction to come back is through your personality and not your higher self. Get it? Mm. So this is how you, you get something and you're trying to figure out how the hell Explain would... Explain it. Explain it. Yeah. Explain how it. the hell Explain would I attract it, this in my life? Why would I attract this drama, this trauma? Why would I attract this? Because this is what is coming from your conscious mind and not your higher self. So whenever you're doing work, you don't want to be sending out intentions through your conscious mind. You don't. Because that's mm. going to be based on your personality. And let's face it. <laughs> let's face mm. it. We can have some twisted sister and twisted brother personalities. Mm. And depending on how you're feeling at that particular time. So for instance, let me tell you. Here's what you say. You say... Mm -hmm. I want to get a new job. Let's do that because that's one of the hot topics. I want to get a new job. Mm. I can't stand this damn job. I hate this job. I'm going to I'm going to do a ritual. I'm going to do something. I'm going to connect and I'm going to manifest me a new job. So you set the intention. Mm -hmm. But the intention is really coming from your conscious mind because remember the program that is running is that you hate your job. So mm. all of a sudden, you go to work, the job you hate, and you get fired. <laughs> and you think, well, wait, I wanted a new job, but I needed something to take the place of that job first. Like, this isn't what I asked for. Well, what you were leading with and what your energy was leading with was leading with your conscious mind, your personality, your emotion, your strongest emotions. So most of your day, you're, 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 you're leading with how much you hate your job. You can't stand it. It makes you sick when you go in the office, the people there, you, you, you don't want to be around them. You don't, this is what it's coding that intention with that you're sending out into to the universe it's not coming from your higher self so mm. you have to do what's called a a spiritual bypass mm. 
and get into your higher mind and understand the higher intention behind what you're doing. And this is a way to help you tap more into that energy. Now, you're not going to get around the work. You can't go around shitting on your job and holding two fingers and mm. thinking that's all you got to do. But it certainly will put you more in an alignment so that you are targeting. Cause see, we, we, we have to be brother Bilal detailed. We got to be like you were talking right. one time. We got to be like sharpshooters. We, we can't just be spraying yeah. bullets anywhere. We need a target and we need to hit that bullseye. We have to have a, a, a clear vision of what we're aiming for. And so the clear vision is not that you hate your job at all, not that you don't want to be there, is where are we ultimately going? And see, the higher self will take right. you more into that frequency, and then you know that you are going for the bullseye. And when you mm -hmm. set that mm -hmm. intention in motion, not only is this ritual going to help you, to stay, mm. to set the intention, but it's going to code it also in your subconscious mind because this is why when we talk about hoodoo and voodoo, we talk about some of the mm. Native American rituals where we're getting into the dance and we're getting into the body movement, mm. we're getting into the tones mm -hmm. and the frequencies and we're getting into... Um, um, the rituals with the herbs and working with nature, what you're doing is you're conjuring up. You're conjuring up mm. the energy so that you can not only send that out to be returned to you, but so you can also deeply embed it into your subconscious mind and also coat your whole mm -hmm. aura with the energy so the greater chance of the intention can come through. Mm. So back to the ritual. Yeah. You're going to take the bay leaf. Good. You're going to write the intention on it, hold it in your left hand with your thumb and your finger. And you're going to channel. You're going to visualize because we know that visualization, remember the bay leaf is also going to take you into the clairvoyancy so you can see. Mm -hmm. Because if you can see it, it's real. Remember, and especially now with the dimensions, con 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 I can't even say it, the dimensions coming together. Mm -hmm. If you can Converse, see it, yeah. If you can hold the vision, if you can hold the image, then you can manifest it. Once you hold that vision and you can see it clear, like get some details. Like what are you wearing? Like what's around you? What's happening? Then you know you have tapped, tapped, tapped in. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your nice little flammable bowl. You're going to make sure you ain't got none of your weave around or, you know, no children. <laughs> and you're going to burn that bay leaf and just allow that aroma of the air to take some of it in, to take some of it in. And the ritual is done. So that's one of the ways you can do it. We talked about this, Brother Bilal, many, many years ago when we mm -hmm. did the money Let magic. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sitting up here listening to you, and I guess, I, I, well, I guess we're conscious people. Everything could be a goddamn uh, workshop, you know what I'm saying? But, but why would we give this away and not have to charge someone to know this powerful information? Like, for real. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh -huh. number one, because... We have so much to give. We want you to win with us. It's not about us winning. Yes. We want you to win. That's our sole purpose of being here and doing this. And, you know, I think back, Brother Bilal, like when I first started doing readings live on the air and people said, you're crazy to do readings on the air because why would you do free readings on the air? Nobody would pay you to get a reading if right. you do free readings. Mm -hmm. 
And I never believed that to be true. It wasn't even something I questioned, you know, and later we talked about it as well too. We never questioned that. Like what that, that didn't make sense in our world. And I noticed that actually the more free readings I do, the longer the reading list gets, (laughs) you know, and it's because this that we do is because we love it. I love it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be here. I couldn't show up. I couldn't, I couldn't do this if I wasn't. I'm not going to say born to do it because we're all born to do mm-hmm. like we're literally born to do. Right. But this is really, I know this is really what I know. My soul is calling me to do, you know, mm-hmm. is to do this, is to do this work. And I want to see so many people win. It is no fun mm. sitting at the winner table yeah. by yourself. I want to see you guys win. So when you tell us stories about things that you're working on or one of the priestess come and they say that they've done some things, they've created some things, they've made some things, they're working on some things. It's the best high in the world. Talk about getting high. It is the best high. Or someone says they mended a relationship with their child or their mother and their father, or even they, they did some things with themselves. Like this is, this is not a hustle. This is real soul work, Mm -hmm. you know? And, Mm -hmm. you know, for me, that's everything. That's everything that that's, the platform mm. and and that's why we do it together because we both are in agreement right. with that you know we want to see you win we want to see you you know we want to see you the the greatest thing in the world is to see you do the things that your soul and your spirit is calling you to do like to be a part of someone's mm. journey like there's no money there's no award <laughs> like there mm-hmm. is there is nothing greater than that than to know that you could be a part of that to be a witness to that to say you participated in that you know like that's the mm-hmm. best mm-hmm. that's the best for me that's the best, best. Problem. and that's why best we problem. that's why we give it away and here's the other thing It's a little trick, you guys. We figured this out a long time ago. Your cup Mm. never gets empty. But if you keep your cup Mm. full, you can't pour more shit in it. (laughs) That's right. So the more more we dump out... Water gets stagnant if you leave the same water. That's right. right. The more we dump out, the more keeps pouring in. It keeps... That's right. Like literally right now, I'm, I'm, I'm almost going to give you guys one more thing and then I have to do the somebody stop me because more stuff is coming in about this damn bay leaf. <laughs> keep going. Keep going, please. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. So, I mean, you, you, know, you, you know when you're getting some real information or some real knowledge because I, I really literally want to take a break and go get me some bay leaves from the store right now while you keep talking. You know what oh I'm my like, goodness. I, I can't wait to get the bay leaves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like for real. Oh, oh, well, powerful. I love it. Yeah, keep going. So here's another thing. And we did this and many of you going back to Kim Biz, um, maybe even in mm-hmm. Know Your Magic, uh, Self Invested, we talked about this, uh, doing some money rituals take you a bay leaf and put it in your wallet, wrap it around your money, Mm. put it around your credit cards, um, you know, put Mm -hmm. it around your IDs, your driver's license, sisters, put it in your purse, put it in there, you know, put it in and and wrap it around there. And what that's going to do is the bay leaf is one of those trees that can live for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And so it will keep things flowing. It will keep things open. It will keep things moving. It will keep things flowing. So yes, and many of you may remember that about the bay leaf is to do that, is to take that bay leaf. So get you some of that. Get you some bay leaf 
and explain about it. And remember, all of this came from Hurricane Laurel. <laughs> mm, nice, all nice. of this came from the Hurricane Laura. That's where this came from. So never underestimate the power of signs and symbols. They're there for you. Um, and there is a way to definitely tap into this. One last thing. If you guys have children, like toddlers and little kids and older kids, make a bay leaf little head crown wreath for them. And when they're playing, especially for little girls, dress up. And that can be their little crown that they put on. I mean, you can do one for yourself as well. But you want to put that crown on top of their head. And I guarantee you, it will help them stay very open. Especially if you have a child dealing with temper tantrums, terrible twos, or having a rough time adjusting emotionally. It may can be that thing they put on their head when they're about to do their school lesson or they're about to read or study and to make a little crown leaf for them to put on top of their heads um, to really mm. just help to keep the energy flowing for them and their imagination and just to keep them open. And it'll be a fun little game. Like don't go into breaking down the bay leaf to them. Just tell them to put it on. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we've given this out before, but you can take the bay leaf if you want to go into the astro realm and you can take it and put it in a little pouch, like a little gauze pouch, like, or either a tea bag and put it in your pillowcase at night when you go to sleep. It will take you outside of Earth's atmosphere. Now, Remember, we told you the dimensions have changed. So I don't know quite actually where you'll end up, but you can rest assured that you have left planet Earth. <laughs> mm, right. You right. will be on a fantastic voyage out in the cosmos. Um, and you can have a lot of fun in the dream world there and um, really begin to start astro traveling out. Mm hmm. Someone asked, Brother Bilal, mm. can it go inside the mm -hmm. Jupiter pouch? Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. you can't, we can't say enough about that Jupiter pouch, but we'll talk about that inside of the wind. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we got to talk. About, yeah. Yeah. We, we'll get to that point. But yes, indeed, it can. Yeah. Yes. And so, yes. lastly, one of the things I want you guys to know that the bay leaf is also identified with the Christ energy. If you're having a rough time right now, financially, mm -hmm. mentally, spiritually, or just kind of caught in a funk because of so many changes that are going on, the bay leaf can really help you with this because the original bay was Christ. He was the bay, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> looked like bay. Mm -hmm. He was bay. And so mm -hmm. the bay leaf symbolized the resurrection of Christ. And it honors everything from prosperity to honor and fame. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you need to shift your energy and make it, Bye. make yourself feel like bay, you know, get you some bay leaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So there you guys go. Mm. That's that bay leaf. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Absolutely. Wow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you what, uh, bear with me if, uh, as I go through this energy because we're in a strong energy field. Mm -hmm. And you know, Miss Blue, I was supposed to come on Sunday night. That's and right. And wasn't able to. Yeah. Uh, and, and it is an energy grab right now because this weekend, the 29th of August, there's going to be a very powerful conjunction. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
really for these next four days. I'm going to say Thursday through Sunday. I'm, I don't know what it is, but it will show itself. And this conjunction, Miss Blue, is happening with this waxing moon that's coming in between Jupiter and Saturn. Oh, wow. Mm, mm-hmm. As we head toward the mazy, the corn full moon. So this full moon coming up is all about money and finance. Wow. Okay. And it's a real strong energy right now. But this weekend... Mm-hmm. Ugh, I don't know what's going on this weekend, but it, it will show itself. It already have. Right. I mean, it's it's a lot of chaos going on right now, but it's a real. You're talking about the war. Talking about a war. Mm. Like for real. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. for real. So even strange sounds coming from the sky, you know, kind of booms and flashes. You know. What yeah, I'm saying? that's so, true. That's true. Let me let me start inside of the warning. Mm-hmm. which also has the word war in it, W-A-R. The warning has war in it, because before you go to war, there are all kinds of warnings. Like, this is my last fucking warning. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's always warnings coming in before the war. And so let me start with the warnings. So let us advise you that we are at the end of all energies hmm what is in many cases miss blue mm-hmm. y- yeah be- because really really when we talk about the war the warning the wealth and the the wind is is the, all the elements fire yes. water air and earth you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. it's all four of the elements which the warning comes from the water element and 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 we are at the end of all energies. We are really entering the fall. We are winding down. Time to do that self reflection. What a perfect time to be self invested. God uh, damn, I, I, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a crazy year. What a perfect time to be self invested. But we are we are actually in it, right? Mm-hmm. So. I don't mind. I don't mind hurricanes and stuff, Miss Blue, because I I would like to go to the Mississippi and suck the energy of, of what's going on in anyway. So mm-hmm. that's that's not a problem for me. And but as I think about that, I think about the self reflection and just think about we have had some wins, some losses, or what we call losses, some in between. I mm-hmm. mean, Miss Blue, the virus alone. Leveled the restaurant industry. You yeah, realize that? Yeah, it really did. Not yeah. so much the fast foods or the takeout, but the no. sit down experience of oh, restaurants yeah. has oh, been yeah. leveraged. Banking, mm. housing. Yes. Now, the retail, you know, I, I retail, beans, retail too. Yeah, retail, yeah. Mm-hmm. But but look, we know that's man, mandane, mandane for the magical beings who who the, the kundalini gods and the reiki goddess. Uh, we know that's mundane. But doing your reiki under the bridge, uh, it really don't look as good as doing it in your own home. You understand what I'm saying? So right. we're looking to keep you stable as we keep you magical. That's right. So take care of your overall well-being. Mm-hmm. We are also at the end of many chapters, Miss Blue, closing out a 10-year cycle. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're there at the same, we're there at the same time. Yeah. So some going back to the upside, some will be going down. And if you want to pre- uh, prevent your fall, Stay focused, stay loyal, stay committed to task. Yes. Take that as a word from the wise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when we speak when we speak of the end of all energies, I'm speaking of all elements being exhausted, such as the mind. Thinking, imagination, and thoughts, which become 
the things of your life. So right here, you need to conserve your energy from all the thinking. Even with the body. So we're talking about mind, body, spirit, soul. But even with the body, we're talking about the bones, blood included. Yes. It's time to cleanse the blood so that bay leaf is right on time because it sounds like a real good cleanser for everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even the spirit. Be mindful of your spirit because that's connected to your moods and attitudes included. That's right. So this is where the adjustment for your mindset come, right? So be real cognitive of your spirit. Make sure your energy is right. And the soul, Miss Blue, mm. the dreams in the astral realm included. Yes. Please set your intentions before resting. Yes. Please. This is all part of the warning. And the warning, settle yourself, get ready for September and October because you're going to need your energy for what you're getting ready to witness. Do mm-hmm. not let this bring you on a roller coaster ride with your emotions. It's not worth it. Yes. Politics is not our arena. Stay, stay spiritual. Yes. Right now, we are witnessing an all-time high anxiety and stress. A lot of uncertainty. Yes. But most people are hardwired, Miss Blue. They're hardwired and programmed to react to certain things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're telling you to try a new approach. No need to stress and worry. Yes. And if you're really conscious, you're seeing we're being exploited and separated at the same time. So that goes to the hand and the fist analogy, Miss Blue. Yes. As a hand is not as strong, but when you make a fist and they come together, right, become stronger. So right here, create your own narrative and get a new story. Yes. Get a new story. Mm-hmm. So what if schools close again? Do it really matter? Are you in front of that energy? Have you have a talk with your children already to create that leave alleviate of them of that stress? Yeah, yeah, so important to do. From what's likely to happen, which you have no control over, which we all seek in control, and you will never get it. Never. All part of the warning. And with this warning, I am outside of any planetary influence. Even though Mars is glowing hmm. like a like a green light bulb in the sky, they're saying it's <laughs> ultraviolet, but it's giving up this green hue. Yes. And Mars is showing a sign of life. Well, the Mars is, is shocking the whole world right now. Mm-hmm. You better pull it up and study it. Sure is. Mars is doing yes. its thing. And see, this, this is why every great civilization studied astronomy, Miss Blue, because at one time, astronomy was against the law. Mm, that's right. So it transformed itself into the seven hermetic laws. Mm-hmm. That's what became of astronomy. Because astronomy covers astrology. Because in reality, it's only six Zodiacs, only six, six pair, mean 12. Mm-hmm. Each one have a masculine and one have a feminine, each one. So it's only six Zodiacs and with the seventh becoming you, the governor of both of them, right? So please be careful not to fall deep in your dream and never wake up, and that's metaphorically speaking, Because we also want to warn you to not take your first wrong step into the future. Yeah. Yeah. Please be conscious of the steps you're making and decisions you're making, the choices you are handed. You, we are trying to prevent you from taking your first wrong step into your future. So take your time with the decision making Make sure it's all heart felt. Yeah, lead with the heart. Make sure it's all heart felt. That lead, please lead with the heart, because no matter, Miss Blue is big yet. 
Mm-hmm. No matter how many times you say that sacred, um. <laughs> yeah. And you still get busting your head. We would rather you learn how to fight. That's and right. Then learn the um. That's right. That's right. Because the breathing exercises only works if you're willing to defend the very chest you are breathing from. That's right. Protect your treasure. Protect your, your heart. heart. That's, That's what, what we did saying. on Friday night. That's a warning. Yeah. Protect your heart. That's a, that's a warning. That's right. That's a warning. So on, on this night, I'm, and 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 be conscious of these next four days. Be you know, stay out of the way. Don't 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 rise too much. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 observe this weekend for me, if you could. Yeah. Yeah. Because don't say you wasn't forewarned. You know, and your first mind didn't speak to you. Don't tell us your intuition didn't send you a sensation from the senses. Don't tell us your gut didn't warn you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't tell us that. And so please be mindful. And, and earlier starting this Friday, Miss Blue, the, the moon is going to go near Jupiter. Yeah. And then it's connecting to, to Saturn after that, which is also in opposition to the binary star system of Ceres. And it mm. may be the reason you saw those twins. Oh, wow. That's right. Wow. That's right. It, it's all in the same area right now. Hmm. So this is a very powerful weekend. Starting at midnight tonight, our time, 1, one Eastern time. Mm. That's mm. when the moon is at 270 degrees moving into the astrology sign of Capricorn. Yeah. Where Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter is now sitting. And please don't ever forget, this is all entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the warning. That's right. Next we're going to the war. <laughs> it's time. To, it's the war. Well, the war, the warning, the wealth, and the win. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The war is pure fire. Mm-hmm. The war is the fire element. Because if you turn that W upside down in war, you get more like more. Right, yes, because yes. Mars is the god of war. So let's talk about the war. Mm. Battle of the sexes. Yes. Battle of the races. Yes. Battle of the politic parties, left and right. The war of the hearts. Yes. The war of the mind. Yes. War of the children and all the parents. These battles War of um, all bad, all battles. That's right. The have and the have nots. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm getting ready to tell these conscious beings something. <laughs> if you fight hard and long enough, all of your war will end in destruction. Mm, say that again, brother. Bilal. If you fight hard and long enough. All will end in destruction because all wars are over disagreements, yes. mostly some small shit involved. War go over some small shit because we fight mostly for the fear of someone else being right. Mm. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. It comes down to one word. Mm-hmm. Not a sentence, one word. We go to war over one word. Because some people like to make other people feel bad so they can feel good about themselves. So yes. it starts a war. Mm-hmm. And all wars always over words. We had some words. You ever say that? We had some, we had to have some words. Yeah, yeah. Let me holler at you. And I'll... <laughs> Yeah, that's right. But look, look what look what I'm telling the self look, not the self invested family, but the whole remix family. Don't fall for it. No, don't, don't do it. it. Mm-mm. Now look, I'm not saying I'm not saying don't go to war. I'm saying don't start it. Mm-mm. Now, if someone started with you, it's an easy win. A very easy win. It's an easy win. Mm-hmm. Because they started the shit with you, knocked their ass off. That's it. Go to war over your unique expression. Yes. 
your right to express yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't ever have to go to water. Be yourself. Just be. That's you not make no announcements to be yourself. <laughs> if you have to announce who you are, you are already defeated. That's right. That's right. You're supposed to go to wall of your children's innocence. That's right. Protect them. Yes. Teach them not to be scared and afraid. Go to war over that type of shit. Choose your battles. Mm-hmm. Hold back your attacks right now, especially this weekend. Don't go too hard this weekend. Because I don't want you to underestimate no one. Please. Please don't do it. Although, I like it when people underestimate me sometimes. Yeah. The easy win. Indeed. Please become aware of your reactions because your reactions become the world you build. That's right. Our world is built off of our reactions. For sure. So don't worry about what's happening at the post office as long as you're getting your mail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Look, your, your zip code is already a tracking device and a location detector. Your, that's, your zip code is already that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You, know, you don't have to worry about the cell phone. <laughs> oh, for real? Because they call your zip code. The, your zip code, your cell phone, and people tapping the in butt. on, on you know they said ha- hackers. You know, at one time hackers used to be people who were in the computer industry. You know that was really good with technology. They said now hackers is is one in every three households has a hacker is hacking into someone right. else's uh, phone, the, their email, their 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 you know their their personal business and you know and they equated. Right. I was reading an article where they equated the the rise in hacking and the rise in mental illness, mm. you know, rising together. Mm. Mm, that's deep. Yeah, that's, that's what deep. I said. That's deep. That's deep. Now, yeah. that's deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and, e- and even with that, as, as the last part of the war, and shit, war is in aware. That's war right. War sits dead in the middle of the word aware. Mm-hmm. So you talking about consciousness of being aware, being a war, <laughs> being at war with yourself. Please be conscious of your reactions. Yes. If someone is looking to make you react, they're looking to put the steering wheel in your back. Yes. And that was off the top of my head. <laughs> that was good, Brother Valau. If someone is looking to make you react. They looking to put the steering wheel in your back. I literally caught a bird, a visual of somebody driving somebody from behind. <laughs> wow! I literally—that's yeah, without smoking the bay leaf. <laughs> I can't wait to start smoking that. Oh! And I'm not even a smoker. <laughs> so look, the 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 war, the warning, the wealth, and the wind. Yes. So next we're going to the wealth, Miss Blue. Oh, yeah. And, and, and isn't this crazy? Because the wealth is connected in the tarot deck to Mercury in communication with Virgo. Mm. Isn't it Virgo season? Oh, it, it is, is Virgo season. Yeah. Shout out to all the all Virgos. All wealth is in communication with material. Mm-hmm. All wealth in communication with material. So we're talking about the earth plane when we're talking about wealth. Because all wealth is contingent not only on you so much having the money. The money is a side effect of what wealth is. Right. See, wealth is contingent on not how much shit you keep, Miss Blue. Mm-hmm. Wealth is contingent on how much you give back. That's, That's right. Wealth. That's right. That's when you have wealth. enough to give back, you are wealthy, no matter what it is. That's right. When you have enough to give back... You are wealthy. If you have a wealth of information mm-hmm. and give it back, mm. then you start off your recycling process because the more you give, the mm-hmm. more will come back to its owner. Yeah. That's what starts the recycling process when you give 
and you don't have enough to give until you get wealthy. That's right. Once you get wealth, wealth is determined by how much you give back. Mm -hmm. So thank you for the bay leaf because your health is your wealth. That's right. Yeah, we don't want you to hit the lottery and not give us our cut because you can keep your goddamn <laughs> diabetes down. You your know what? You pressure. know what? Bay leaf. Mm. <laughs> now look, wealth can include riches, which we talking about financial money, but wealth is not only attainment of material resources. Mm. It's not money alone. That's not wealth. You're talking about riches. See, wealth is the mental ability to start a plan mm -hmm. and see it through to its end. That's wealth. Yes. Your creativity is your wealth. Mm -hmm. And never forget, real wealth is your time. Hmm. Say that again. Mm. <laughs> Real wealth is your time and what you do with it. That's, That's right. the wealth. That's the wealth. You also become wealthy when you gain an inheritance, but we're not talking about financial money again because we have an inheritance of a culture, Miss Blue. Our That's music, right. our food, our That's dance. Right. That's all wealth. That's right. That's right. Most people inherited most of their thoughts. But your imagination, that's yours individually. That's right. that's right. Natural resources are wealth. Metals, gold, silver, bronze. Mm -hmm. You need to buy land. Yes. Land is wealth. How can you be a landlord without land? <laughs> That's not in reality. At and that's all. facts, 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 facts. That's right. That's facts. So this is all about the wealth, but the wealth is not your finances. Wealth is the quality time you spend with your children. You, yes. you build a wealth of information. You build a wealth of, of, of information you're working on. Because think about the people in self-invested. You are spending your time becoming wealthy, and yes. you can leverage any riches, and we could guarantee it. Just talk to the people that's been self-invested, how mm -hmm. they're maneuvering and, and spinning circles around people, doing their own work. Yeah, yeah. Shit, in a minute, shit, I'm going to be getting reading from everybody that's self-invested. I know. They are doing their thing. And, of course, hey, look, all the priestess. My man yes. Christopher sent me an email. He did his first reading uh, last week. I was, I was too elated, for real. Because Beautiful. I don't think we realize how much shit we have learned and how much I we know. I know. Oh, my goodness. We could do this. Really? And it's not enough people doing it. We it's could not, do this. It's not. We, it's, it's 8 billion people on the planet. And, um, right. yeah, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> yes. All the yeah. help we can get. Yeah. Mm. So, so, so let's go to the last part of this, which is the win. We got the warning. Got the, heard the war. Breast about the wealth. Let's go into the win. Mm, yeah. Now, who doesn't like the feeling of winning? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's no feeling like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But listen, if you are poised, you can win. That's right. That's right. Because when you're poised, you have an inner calm that never fears. Mm -hmm. Peace. You're winning. That's right. Peace is the mind resting in the realization that everything is always good, no matter what our eyes are perceiving. Right. That's a hell of a trick to play on your mind to mm. understand in reality it's always good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The wind is where most people sleep, Miss Blue, because after the wind, we get so excited, we fall asleep and stop doing the maintenance on what we just won. 
because we become overwhelmingly satisfied and mm. a little too satisfied. You get full and you get lazy and you stop appreciating the work you done put in. You start taking for granted and then your win starts to fade away. Mm. But that, if you're part. That's right. And calm. That's right. You can win. That's right. That's why I'm blue raspberry win. I keep reminding That's myself right. to, to win. win. <laughs> to win. That's right. And, and look, that's even speaking to success because winning speaking to success and success is the image that we are holding in our mind of winning. Mm -hmm. That's what success really is. It's an image that we are holding in our mind of winning. The minute you start to start worrying about, damn, I hope I win. Damn, I hope he come through. Yes. You just messed the whole process up. Yeah. You might as well start all over. That's right. Because that's that you second well attraction. You Ain't are it. attracting to your lower self. And that attraction is almost in reverse of what you want. It's reverse. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you are patient, you win. Mm -hmm. Because if you just relax... You will hear in the quiet, still voice saying, no, no, don't go that way. That's right. Uh, no, no need to worry. We got this. We got the win. What I need right now, Miss Blue, I need someone to come on and if we could clearly identify this, 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 this is the mission we are right now. Yeah. We need someone to come on and to describe the feeling of winning in a clear, concise manner. Mm -hmm. So everyone understands. Because winning is a feeling first. That's right. It's not what you're winning what you're winning is help produce that feeling of winning. So can someone come on the line and describe the feeling of winning? What does it feel like? And if you haven't won before, you would know this. So don't, please don't press one. <laughs> you know what? And we're not calling you a loser. <laughs> but we, and we're going to know if you won before. <laughs> I'm going to know if you crossed the finish line. And look, that look. And I know I said this before, but that go back to my man Reuben Charles, right? My, I met my man Reuben Charles yeah. in St. Louis when we were doing some work. And Reuben said, "Man, I need to have evidence of your greatness, man." <laughs> he sounded like the Mac at that time, right? So I need to have evidence of your greatness. Don't tell me you're a chef and you don't have a damn spoon or a pot. <laughs> Do you have evidence of your greatness? So we need evidence of your winning. Do you have any trophies? Do you have any certificates? Can we not? Saying you're not shit if you don't have it, but it does help. Oh, my so goodness. So can we get someone to come on, Miss Blue, mm -hmm. and describe mm -hmm. the feeling of winning? Mm -hmm. We would appreciate that. Would love that. Somebody, anybody. Somebody, come on. 515-605-9794 is the number to call. Uh, press one once you get on the phone line and international callers, just make sure you, uh, you know, dial the U.S. country code and then dial 515-605-9794. So come on, don't be shy. Press one. Let's see who, where are we going to go? Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. Oh, you it's mean... All these magic makers, somebody. Wait right? a minute. You telling me all these magic makers oh. listening in, almost over 200 in, in the blue room alone, and you trying to... Come on, now. Oh, come on. Now. Come on, come on. Seriously? Okay, I think we, I think we got some people. Let's, let's, let's okay. go to the phone lines. Let's go to 4402. Four four zero two. Hi. Hi. Who's on the line? It's Shamiqua again. I waited. No one else pressed one. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you must be the winner, baby. You must you be the winner. 
Shaniqua, you want to tell everybody where you're calling from, too? I'm calling from Ohio. Okay. Okay. So how does it feel to win? Okay. Describe the feeling and be very detailed, please. Okay. To win, you, you, I feel it from my toes all the way up. Mm. Um, first, yeah, I might feel thing. it in my chest first. Mm-hmm. Might be sort of mm. an excitement, like my heart rate will go up. Um, I might get a little bit flushed, but then I'll get full from mm-hmm. my feet all the way to the top. Mm-hmm. And in my head, I'll feel sort of a lift on the top of my head because I'm so full of mm. Everything of joy, of excitement, right? Uh, everything will start to go real slow, like you're underwater almost. Mm-hmm. That sort of wah, 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 that feeling. Mm-hmm. Mm. Overwhelmed with the thoughts of the past and the way that you looked at the future and this moment right now all coming together at the same time. I love it. Almost. Wow. Like, I like love it. Cool. So tell us, Shaniqua, what have you won? One of the things that I won was I had this impossible family situation. Um, Couldn't Mm. figure out how I was going to deal with it, how I was going to connect with these lost parts of me. What was I going to do? And there was every door was closed. I had nowhere to live. I had nothing. And I made a decision that today was the day that it was all going to change. Something terrible happened. I was in a bad space, Mm. and the situation I had, my little boy was me, and the situation was such that I got up and said, I cannot have him here anymore. Mm. So I got to walking up and down the street with my kid, just talking about how it's going to be all right because we're not doing this no more. I'm telling you right now, we're going to be okay. At the time, I had been doing a lot of yoga. I had been reading a lot and meditating because it was the only thing that was going to get me through. Uh, the only way that I was going to make it from the situation I was in to well, where I Well, at least you knew. Oh, my goodness. Most people don't know mm-hmm. yoga. We walked and we walked. Yeah. We walked and we walked. We walked and we walked. And we went into a few places, knocked on some doors like, hey, do you have some place for us to stay? These people say, no, we're sorry, we don't have any beds. We went to this place. Do you have some place for us to stay? No. At this point, I started to get a little bit despondent. Mm -hmm. But I knew what I had said to my baby. And I knew what I had said to myself. And I knew what I had Mm -hmm. spent those moments in my secret place, which really was just the deepest part of my mind, saying, I am not playing. I am done. And we went into this. We went into this other building, a lady at one of the shelters who we went and knocked on the door. The lady says to us, um, we don't have any beds. Go across the street. See what they got going on across the street. Mm-hmm. So we go across the street. And at this point, I'm in slow motion because I know what I decided. I know what has to happen. Right. There's no evidence that anything is going to happen. So we get inside this place. And as we walk by, there is a window, a stainless or a stained glass window with Mother Mary on it. Hmm. I'm not Catholic. I'm not raised Catholic. That doesn't turn me on at all. But anyhow, I knew somehow that this time this image meant something. Mm. So we go inside, and there's these ladies in there, and I get to talking to them. And I say, listen, listen, listen. And all of this emotion that I had been kind of holding and trying to manipulate so that I didn't lose my shit in front of strangers kind of wells up, and I tell them my story from beginning to end. And I say, listen, if you help me, I promise you, I will, I will speak. I will tell people about the way you help me and I will do good with what you have done. I promise just help me. And my little boy was 10 years old at the time. He just rubbed my back 10 years old. He's 20 now, 10 years ago. Mm. He rubs my back. These people got me a place in four months. They taught me a new, a new trade. What was the, what was the trade? I was able to, Drug counseling. Ah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Drug counseling. Which, which for me was wonderful because I personally did not have that issue, but my parents did. Mm. So my trauma was rooted in that. And I just, I, I kind of knew in my bones how to talk to people who had this particular issue because it's all I'd ever known. They teach me this. Wow. With this new 
trade, I am able to support my baby. Wow. I'm able to reunite with my other children, which was the issue to begin with. Yes. And I have never made I have never made less money than that. I don't do that anymore because it was a season where we moved on to something else. But that day, I just remember, you know, that wow. it, it was some work that I had to do to make sure that I got into that place. But as I leveled up my pay every couple of years, as I was able to walk around with more confidence, as I was able to go from homeless to having the biggest, nicest place that I had ever had in a few short years with my children with yes. me. Yes, yes. I just, it was, ma- it was magic, but it wasn't intentional magic. It was just, I'm done. I'm done mm. and I know who I am. Well, well, moment, I, I, I think it was intentional because you held to it. You set a target right. and the bullseye. And you never let go, no matter what things presented themselves to you, no matter all the no's that you got from all the places of you going and being told no and no and no, you never let go of that. That's that's what intention is. Well, 10 years later. Yeah. It's time. We're back there again. We're not, mm. we're not homeless because that's not, that's, not, that's not where we live anymore. Right. But we have, a, we, have, we have reached a new place of, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I, want I you, love I it. Want you that's it. you know want, what? You, you need to get you a t-shirt business that, and put on the front of the t-shirt, <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Because that is such a powerful <laughs> mantra. I'm not doing this anymore. Wow. Wow. Let me ask you a okay. question. Thank you. I want to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you some things, but I want to ask you a question because you've given us like so much. Like, oh my goodness. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm speechless, you know? And um, I want to ask you a question and I want you to, I want you to think about it for a moment and then answer. You ready? Okay. I'm ready. Which one of these do you have? Cash app or PayPal? PayPal. Email me at question for blue at gmail.com. Question the number four blue at gmail.com. Right now. Can you do that right now while we're still on the phone? Still on the phone. Because I want to see some real time magic. And I want to talk a little bit more about where you are and what's going on with you at this moment. So. I'm here. Yes. Boop. Yes. I sent it. You sent it? Okay. So let me, let me go get it. Just give me one second here. And so you said you're back in this place again. Okay, so I'm yeah, yeah. I'm taking this is the email for your PayPal. Oh, yes, I think so. I mean, I've never really used my PayPal, but yes, this is my email for my PayPal. Yes. Okay. All right. So just 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 hold that thought. So you said you're back okay. in this space again of not doing it anymore. A little different. Not homeless. And we're glad about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you also have Cash App or no? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, that's they fine. They fired me. I don't know why. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, mm-hmm. No worries on that. Um, so you said you're in this place of not... taking it anymore again 
Mm-hmm. And so how are you moving yourself forward this time? Because you have a strong blueprint. Well, I'll tell you what I did today. Mm-hmm. I came home from work. I was so tired. And I came home, and for some reason, I just passed out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I try real hard to make sure one of the one of the things that I've been doing is pulling myself in the highest frequency I can be in as often as I possibly can consciously. In fact, at work, you know, it's a big joke because I'll say high frequency today, baby, high frequency. That's one of the things that I'm doing. Right. Um, because I understand and how and how are emotions. you getting to the high frequency? How are you getting there? Honestly, all I got to do is get eye to eye with someone, someone in my case, uh, these are elderly people, um, mm-hmm. and have a sincere moment that asks for nothing but only loves. If I can do that a few mm-hmm. times every day, I'm in the highest frequency. I'm sharp. I'm fast. Mm-hmm. I'm limber. Mm-hmm. I just have to, for today, I just went to the floor nobody goes to and hung out with them, room to room, Mm -hmm. smiling, laughing, talking about stuff. Um, When I got, when I woke up, I woke up at 1025 today. Right. So I woke up, looked at my phone, and you're about to come on live. Well, it's not your regular scheduled time. So I'm (laughs) like, dude, this is it. Okay. (laughs) Let me keep it moving. Right. Right. So. I have IBS, or at least that's that's mm-hmm. what's presenting itself. Let me okay. tell you the conditions that I'm dealing with in this moment. Yes. I'm 44. Yes. I'm needing a serious regulation. For the last three days, I've been telling the receptionist oh, at my job, I bay swear leaf. I think that there, I, there's something going on with my sugar. You need the bay leaf. The bay leaf. The bay leaf. Yes. So yes. So start talking about the bay leaf, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. So I go out. I had just asked my son, my 20-year-old son, will you make me some tea? And he's like, yeah, I'll make you some tea. So I go back out, and I'm like, dude, here's what I want you to put in my tea. <laughs> so right now, on the stove, I have ginger, mugwort, some herb that I just brought, some thyme. Yes. Bay leaf. Love and it. Cinnamon. Beautiful. Ready for me. Beautiful. Got a purple candle lit. Beautiful. That I that I inscribed mastery on master. Mm. And I've got my these crystals that I've been gathering over time. Beautiful. All I know to do at this point is what I know to do mm-hmm. and to continue to do it. And to continue to do it. I have the notes out that you wrote that I took mm-hmm. on the last show we were at. Yes. I'm working. I'm working and I'm so, working to make sure that I stay in the frequency and that I'm moving my mind along positively. Right. And deciding every chance that I get, whenever I have the ability, I'm deciding. I'm deciding and I'm mm-hmm. taking action. Well, do me a favor. I can, and I told you on the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I want you to do me a favor. Check your email. Yes, ma'am. Check your email for me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. Now, I I want to show you and really just give an example to everyone of how magic works. Our show was decided before you knew you were going to call in. Mm -hmm. We decided we were going to do this before you called in. And the number one thing is this gift is for having the courage to come on and share. Share your truth. 
share your story and to share your light. It really is such a powerful moving thing. And, you know, in most cases, I thought we were going to get to three or four different callers. But Spirit led me, as soon as everybody put their hand up, that you must be first, even though you weren't the first. And so this speaks to the initial story you told us about when you set that intention of how you are going to move forward. And what I want to add to that is you're so amazing at giving, but you have to learn how to receive. And so in that, here is your First test on receiving. Can you please tell everyone how much you received from us? $100. Yeah. And that $100 is for keeping it 100 with us. <laughs> Thank you. You are so welcome. May I tell you, may I tell you what I was, the, the, the thoughts I was trying to wash away, Bro, Brother Bilal, you too. I was laying here in preparation. I wanted to do something so that I could make this moment sacred. And like I said, I was rolling the candle in my hands, which is something I learned on the internet. Yeah. And I'm working on trying to clean my head up. And as I'm cleaning my head up, I'm thinking about all of the stuff I gave away this week. Mm. And working on washing the thought away that I was squandering what was given to me mm. because I so enjoy, I so enjoy little things like grabbing some, someone, some food, you know, and it's small, but I know how much those things mean. And it's not that I want to do it for them. I want to have that experience with them. Yeah. My family calls me a food pusher. I love eating with people. So when I can, I do. But, you know, you have that feeling because we're taught all these things. Like, I'm wasting the money that I asked for. So you go back and forth. It's the thing we talked mm -hmm. about last time. This was a validation beyond what you believed you were probably even doing when you <laughs> did it. Mm -hmm. What you said to me was, when you're loving them, I see you. Mm -hmm. Because I love you and that's me through you. That's all I needed. I'm cool now because I know now that I'm in the frequency that yes. I am, yeah. that I am intending to be in. Thank you. Sincerely. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I think we started something here. You are so welcome because Karen Jackson in the chat room said that she would like to match Mm. what <laughs> we paid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For me? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, this is Planet Remix. Um, Thank you. I have a cousin named Karen Jackson. Is that my cousin? It might be. She said, well, she said yes, but I don't know if it's your cousin. Or is this your cousin, Karen? We going to find mm. out. You know, let me find out. <laughs> let me find out. Talk <laughs> to my grandma on the wall. She said no, not, not that. Related. She she said okay. no, n okay. not related in 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 that way. So I tell you Thank what. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Karen, you're in your right vibration. You're in your right vibration, Karen. Send me an email at questionforblue at gmail dot com. And with your permission, I will send this. Here is what the lesson you have to take away. That money has to be used okay. for you because you have to learn how to receive. The reason you came home and passed out is because you 
don't know how to receive and you cannot keep giving. That's almost like breathing out and never breathing in. So you have to get as comfortable with giving as you are with receiving. Listen to me, people. This is why this year in Self-Invested, we are tackling poverty within consciousness. Mm-hmm. Because this Play is what again. this is what it looks like in its purest, most innocent form. It's not a bad, nasty mm-hmm. disease, but this is what it looks like. We want to give, 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 and never be open to receiving. So when you take a shower and you get in the water. Stand with your back and allow the water to press against your back and visualize, visualize the water coming in through your back, which is the largest energy center. It's a part of the heart chakra. You can visualize that green electric light just coming through your back, just coming through and coming in. And this is one of the reasons why you have back problems or your lower back, your back is bothering you. You're not feeling supported. Mm -hmm. You've got to learn how to receive, receive a compliment, receive something, receive it, say thank you and take it in. It doesn't mean to stop giving, but we have to bring the harmony that goes along with giving and receiving. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I sent you an email since our conversation. Mm -hmm. When self-invested opens up, I'm all in. I thank you from the bottom. (laughs) Oh, self-invested is open and closed, honey. (laughs) Open and closed. (laughs) It's open and closed. I sent an email. All right. Well, I'll send another one, two questions for Blue. Well, 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 let me be clear, okay? Um, and I'm going to put your email in. Hold on. I, I want to be real clear. I want to be real clear with you. So I, I don't think you hear us. And this is beautiful. And I don't want to bring no bad news. But let's, <laughs> let's see what it is. Um, I don't have an email. I have an email from you for the Spiritual Gold Rush, for the Stardust, and the live event. But let me tell you this. Self invested. Mm. Just email me. Just email me. I'll do it. Standing okay. room only. <laughs> yeah, we got standing okay. room only. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait however long I have to. Okay. Okay. Thank All right. You. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And I also passed your information on to um, the sister as well. All right, so beautiful. Thank you, Karen. God, all blessings to you, Karen. I hope it's reciprocated seven times over, oh, 70 yeah. times over. Oh, Thank beautiful. you. Thank you. Hold the love line. It. Yeah, peace and love. Hold the line. Wow, how beautiful. How beautiful yeah. and powerful. Okay, wow. So now... This is what I want you guys to do. We're going to give you guys, I'm going to give you some numbers and I want everyone to participate in this and then I'll share the details. But I'm going to give six numbers. Six numbers out. Oh, I'm going to be the lottery number. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys I knew they were coming. six numbers. And you are absolutely free to do what you want to do with these six numbers. With our cut. Yeah. (laughs) Here we go. 12, 12, 21, 23, 31, 51, and 65. I'll say it again. 12, 21, 23, 31, 
51 and 65. Now, everyone is free to do whatever you want with these magical six numbers. All right? Now, for those of you, for those of you who have the Jupiter money kit, mm. if you send a picture, listen to the instructions. If you send a picture of your number and you are one of these six numbers, you and what's the number again? Let me the, check my number. Shit. <laughs> the numbers are 12, <laughs> 21, 23, 31, 51, and 65. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a gift associated with those numbers. It is a gift. For those who have the Jupiter money kit. Who have the Jupiter money kits, which are all winners, by the way. But if you have these six numbers... Email. You have an authenticity card. An authenticity yeah. card of your package. That's right. And the picture of that authenticity card to receive your gift. That's right. That's what you got to do. If you do that, we got you. Now, for the rest of Planet Remix, you are free to use those magical numbers. Anyway. But I will cut. <laughs> yeah, Brother Bilal. <laughs> With our cut <laughs> any yeah, way. Now, we didn't give you the big leaf. That's oh, right. Shit. That's right. We didn't we that's we didn't gave a whole lot of gems. And by the way, I want to say thank you to everyone who did the super chat donations. Um free your mind gave mm. uh, again, Phoenix Nebula gave again. And so thank you from the top to the bottom. To everyone who um, gave their donations. And also thank you to Priestess Erica for letting me know that DJ Khaled did do the win, 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 no matter what uh, song. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> for that. So we mm -hmm. love you guys. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. Don't forget to snapshot, take a picture, post the show on social media. Pass it on to a friend. Don't forget to leave a detailed comment. By the way, you guys have been leaving so many beautiful detailed comments. Do that and, um, yeah, have an amazing week. Stay aware. Wednesday Night Magic is here for you guys. And um, we trust that you love it. Show us how much you love it. We'd love to read those comments and... Um, hear from you guys too yeah so peace and love planet remix we love you have an amazing rest of the week oh yeah oh yeah planet remix the war the warning the well and then the wind the money money cars cars clothes clothes the whole Love I you suppose. guys. Hey. Yeah. I want the money. Money in the cars. Cars in the clothes. The hoes. I suppose. I just want to be. I just want to be successful. I just want to be. I just want to be successful. I just want to be. I just wanna be successful Drizzy Oh yeah, Trey, I fucking feel ya They be staring at the money like it's unfamiliar I get it, I live it, to me there's nothing realer Just enough for all your problems, too much to kill ya And when I leave, I always come right back here The young spitter that everybody in rap fear A lot of y'all are still sounding like last year The game need change and I'm the motherfucking cashier Nickels for my thoughts, dimes in my bed Quarters of the cushion, shake the lines in my head 
take my verses too serious, you hate me Cause I'm the one to paint a vivid picture, no HD Yeah, I want it all, that's why I strive for it This me, you'll never hear a reply for it Any award show or party, I get fly for it I know that it's coming, I just hope that I'm alive for it I want the money, money in the cars, cars in the clothes The hoes, I suppose I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful Yeah, I want things to go my way But as of late, a lot of shit been going sideways And my mother tried to run away from home But I left something in the car And so I caught her in the driveway And she cried to me, so I cried too And my stomach was soaking wet, she only fired too And 40, that was all before I showed up And brought a thousand dollars worth of drinks and got pulled up Damn, my reality just set in And even when the phantoms least them hoes wanna get in I do a lot of things hoping I never had to fit in So trying to keep up with my progress is like a dead end My girl love me but fuck it, my heart beats slow And right now the tour bus is looking like a freak show And life changed for us every single week so it's good But I know this ain't the peak though Cause I, I want, want the, the money, money, money in the cars, cars in the clothes The hoes I suppose I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. From a decent man Back when I was trying to put a ring on Alicia hand This lost boy got fly without Peter Pan And my delivery just got me buzzing like the pizza man In person I am everything and more I'm everywhere these other niggas never been before But inside I'm treading water steady trying to swim to shore I'm on a shopping spree to get whatever is in store Yeah, just call me shopping bag Drizzy Or call me Mr. Damn, he ain't copping that, is he? And fans of these freshmen is about to get iffy Why this youngin' that you doubted is about to get busy I'ma kill it, I promise, that's how I know you're mad I've always treated my city like some shoulder pads The big homie use a flash if you must And I swear I ain't asking for much All I want, I want is the, the money, money, money in the cars, cars and the clothes The hoes I suppose I just wanna be yeah. I just wanna yeah. be successful That's all I want man. I just wanna be I just wanna be successful I just wanna be I just wanna be successful Yeah, yeah, yeah It's like I it's like I know what I gotta say, I just don't know how to say it, how to say it. Uh, pardon the swag, but bitches cartate Long bread, I don't eat shark cake How come I can't miss a woman like I can't miss cart dates? Cheese, but she's not in this portrait Yeah, life's fine, but I don't portray I'm on the other side, but it is a sharp gate I don't want the glow, I want the glow ray And I'ma fuck the world, but this is just foreplay Tired of hearing bullshit, bring on the cow shit Haven't met a smell that's stinkier than I Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's word to Toronto. So high up, I got birds in the condo. <laughs> Ain't that a female dog? Ask her who I am to her, and she yell, God. Weezy baby, I go real hard. No further details, boy. This is their five.